Thank you for joining us on my catalog today we got melanie martinez back in the building and uh we've been recommended this song in the comment section many many times miss potato head and uh yeah we super excited we just got into melanie martinez so we very very new to her we did a couple of songs of hers and she's absolutely amazing everyone has told us that she does everything from the choreograph to the writing to the music to the instrumental i mean yeah she's a phenomenal artist so let's get into it I love her smile, yo, with the little fuck too. She has such mm -hmm. a great sound. Her sound is so good, bro. So good. This instrumental is super dope of fire, too. And but it was such a sad beginning though to it. This is like a, a big message though for like girls, right? Like, especially mm -hmm. like little girls, like the stuff that they try to feed you. Like, I love like, the beginning of the video is like super like looks like 50s right? yeah. with the TV and stuff like that. And like the little commercials where they're showing you like the diet pills, and then the, yeah. everybody needs wigs. to have blonde wigs. Yeah. Right? So she went and I put the blonde wig on and then she took like, it looked like she took like the same kind of pill, like the diet pill. So she was literally following exactly what she saw on the TV. And then she came back and then that, that's what made her like happy. Or at least she was trying to fake it. Like she's like, oh, now I should be happy, right? Because this is what you guys told me I need to do. Now I see what she was kind of going with the Miss Potato Head because I was kind of confused too. I was like, what is, it, what is this going to lead to? But she's basically talking about how like Miss Potato Head, like it's plastic, right? Like a toy. And like to become like who people want you to be now, you got to get all this plastic surgery, all this stuff, right? Yeah, you might to change have to your body. Stuff off. Yeah. Yeah. And you got the doctors there sitting, literally like drawing all of her face, like what she needs to lose um, to make like her facial features look better and all this stuff. And it's like, that's an, it's insane. Like the stuff that you have to go through. And then even what she said in the like the first line that she opened up with when she was like, If you weren't born with it, you can buy a couple ornaments. Just be sure to read the warning kits. Pretty soon you'll be bored of it Ha ha Sexual Hey girl, if you wanna feel sexual You can always call up a professional 
professional They stick pins in you like a vegetable Ha ha You don't have to be born with it You can just buy a kit Like a yeah. special kit <laughs> And I was like, this is like insane, bro She put away that cookie, you know Because like, she was like innocent at first Like just eating the cookie She had milk on the side But as soon as she seen the diet pill And the wig commercial she just mm -hmm. put down so it's almost like young people like you know whatever they doing they put down to try to like emulate something you know what i mean that looks really really good and it's basically the stuff that they feed in the mainstream you know yeah. which is which is sad you know like you shouldn't make people like they shouldn't even have commercials of these drugs you know like a diet pill for real like like you couldn't like you know teach them about broccoli and carrots and healthier food but like you decide to like feed them drugs instead like that's that's what's wild about it you know they cause so much side effects it's crazy it's crazy what they feeding us out here they basically put anything out here anything goes you know what i mean just to make more money and it's like at the cost of our children growing up in that you know yeah it's fire message though like girls need to hear this right it's like she's like basically like showing you like the route that you should definitely never take. You shouldn't feed into all the stuff that they want you to be and change your body, do all that stuff. Cause like that's not gonna make you happy. Cause you can even see like she did the changes, like she did exactly what she saw on the TV. She went back down and you can see that she was like crying, but she was like trying to fake a smile. But like mm -hmm. you could tell she still wasn't happy. That didn't make her happy, <laughs> didn't make her happy, no. right? Like no, you no, becoming no. that image that you see on a magazine or in a commercial or whatever you see in them, like it's just you not you. That, yeah yeah you know it's, it's not natural too and it's like and it's only gonna it's only gonna ruin your body and do a bunch of things more damage to you and then you think that that's what's gonna make you happy then you get there and it's like it's tough for the children too you know with social media now like when you watch an artist make a song and you really like how they looked in there and let, let's say they had like plastic surgery or whatever you know or even in a movie what i'm saying is the recording is only for a certain amount of time like you don't know what they're going through afterwards yeah they might have plastic surgery and they look great in this video but let's see like five ten years from now what are the side effects because we all individuals you know like so like there's no reason for us to get out of our character to be something that someone else on the screen is you know what i mean it's just not fair to your individual human self you know yeah for you're, an, you're an original for a reason right the reason 100%. why what makes you so unique is that you are original Right. There's yeah. nobody that has everything that, that you like, all your likes. They'll never likes, make another you for sure.
Yo, she's amazing, yo. Wow, yo. Yo, that second verse, bro, like, she was just... Yo, she was destroying that second verse. So it looked like she was, like, going through all that for, like, to find what he likes. And she thought it was, like, you know, like, if I if I get my face all fixed and nice, make, like, she was even saying in the lyrics, like, maybe if my face is prettier, right, then it, maybe I'll be loved more. And then he cut her hair when she was, like, still sleeping. She, he did that so she could put the blonde wig on. So she thought, oh, okay, that's what he likes, right? The blonde hair. But which was crazy because they showed the flashback and, like, when they first met and stuff like that, when, like, when they first fell in love, she had all black hair. And she then was she, trying to cater to him, basically. Exactly. Yeah, it looked yeah. like she was, like, like, he started pointing out all these flaws in him and she thought she needed to fix it. So then that's why she went and got the, the plastic surgery. She's like, okay, maybe he'll love me now. And then even then, she got all that done. He was still like, no, nah, the hair. You need to cut the hair. So he cut the hair and then he put the wig on her. Like, yeah, you need to have blonde hair. Maybe that make you look better. And then still after all that, he was still like, nah, I don't know. And they started talking to another chick. She put herself through all that stuff just to find out like this dude went and found somebody that was completely different than her anyway. Like, what was no, she looking like in the beginning? I blame that prick for everything, yo. That prick is the worst, yo. Yeah. Like, what? Like, you yeah, gonna make him it. feel like that? Like, why you even with them? You know? Like, like if you're gonna make somebody feel like that, like, I don't understand why you with them. You know what I mean? Like, you should never, ever do that to anybody. Like, male to female or female to male. You know what I mean? It's just, it's wrong, yo. You know? Because you, you are destroying lives. And it's crazy. Did you see that? Like, she was like, do you get a refund for a pretty face? Is it true that pain is beauty? Does a new face come with the warranty? Will a pretty face make a better? Oh, Mr. Potato. Yeah. Like, yo, that, that was so tough. And uh, the, the forever joint, does it stay together forever? Like, that's, yo, why? She is brilliant, bro. Brilliant. Melanie Martinez is absolutely brilliant, yo. Wow. Yeah, the lyrics with the with the visuals, man, is like she she does a good job of both. Yeah, like, yo, that that whole like the face cutting the skin and stuff. Oh, right? oh, yeah. Even even when she unwrapped it the whole time, I was like, please don't unwrap it, yo. Please yeah. just don't do when it. When they're peeling, when they're peeling the top part of her forehead and they're oh. pointing it down on, and they're like, you can see the inside of it. I was like, oh, oh dang. That was so and tough. Stuffing, to stuffing her her boobs, right? Yeah. But, but the song was getting so deep during that time, you know? Like, it was so tough for me because I was watching something. Like, I'm like, ugh. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? But, like, the, the music was just phenomenal, bro. Phenomenal. Like, she is amazing. Amazing. Like, this one is so mean, bro. Yeah, she, so she, mean. she went deep. She went deep with the lyrics. Like, it, she was, like, going hand in hand. Like, I, I feel like that's why, like what I've been saying. Like, the visuals with her lyrics with what she was saying in this was, like, man there's a lot there's a yeah. lot she was like super eye-opening and it's like super informational and like just basically like it was like a cry for help at the same time like almost poking fun of of like people who do do this because i mean mm -hmm. this is real like people yeah. do change their lives and stuff like that for somebody else right and then it just sucks that like in her case like she did all that for nothing just for the dude to just go and like start messing with another girl right that's a crazy way to ruin your life even more like the fact she already ruined her life already just trying to like be an image of somebody else that somebody else wants her to be that already is bad right so even yeah. if it did work out and she he did end up staying with her like she still wouldn't have been her right like because she had to make all these changes and do all this stuff to to become this person that he wanted her to be it's so crazy because she like almost has like tough love for, mm. for the ladies you know like it's not exactly like you know like it's all peaches and cream like she is like breaking it down like yo these are the consequences this is a point of no return and do you really want to do that for them but like yo she's so brilliant bro her message is incredible and it's such a strong message her lyrical her skills are just out of this world bro she's so nice she's almost like a rapper bro but she sings so well like she's yeah. the lyrics so well but she sound like a rapper with the like punchlines and the stuff she's saying you know what i mean like yeah, it's, the, it's the poetry right that, that poetry right that, that's that's where it comes from it's like it's like she's not just saying like these verses like it's like a poetry like she's like and that's why it reminds us so much of rap because a lot of rap is a lot of like poetry right yes and, and rhyming and how you how you say things you don't just say things just like super basic you try to make it like super complicated and then use metaphors and stuff like that so you understand exactly what they're trying to get out right yeah she does that really well she uses a lot of metaphors yo the lot. potato makes the fries if you want a little more confidence potatoes turn to french fries yeah it's common sense all you need is a couple more condiments and 
a hundred thousand dollars for some compliments. Ha ha. That was fire, bro. Yeah. The potato head. Like, yo, my goodness, yo. She's brilliant, bro. I love her music. It sounds so great. Like, I'm I'm just blown away by her. Every single time she comes through, she comes through like more vicious. And every every song I hear from her is just brilliant. She's talking about real topics, right? Yeah. She's not she's not sugarcoating anything. Like literally, she's talking about like the, the hard stuff that people don't like talking about or people want to avoid. We have to check her. Yeah, we gotta look. Out. We gotta look to see what yeah. her live performances look like. Because guys, if, like she's it, keeping up with that with every video. She's gotta. Yeah. She's gotta be doing it on stage too, right? Yeah. Guys, in the comment section, give us what you think is the best performance she has ever done. She's so brilliant, though, man. Shout out to Melanie Martinez, man. Like she is just impressing me with everything I hear from her, bro. Like she's phenomenal, you know? Absolutely phenomenal. Shout out to Melanie Martinez. We give you our thoughts. You give us your thoughts on the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Tell everybody about my catalog. Until next time. Peace. She's so fire. Super duper fire. When you're down and trouble.